Ratnabali Kant is an innovative, thought-provoking multimedia artist whose most noteworthy contribution to contemporary Indian art is installation performance. Ratnabali Kant is a complete visual art person. When I say complete, I mean each visual artist is either a painter or a sculptor or an installation maker or a printmaker, so on and so forth. But Ratnavali is a person from her, who from her beginning was interested in a complete visual presentation without observing the boundary. That means she combines, she has been combining her practice of painting with practice of sculpture and the practice of installation making etc. etc. Uh, although as a as an institutional student of art both in Chantiniketan and in Athens, she had to study particular art. While practicing, she found out that she need not stay put to one medium that will, would be an hindrance for her. So she started combining and ha as she had taken an interest in skill development within the framework of each medium, she found it very easy to handle, combi handle and combine different media to the best of her ability for giving her work an expressive content which takes care of all the separate media. This has given her, her art a special quality and this has enabled her to become an artist who is very difficult to be labeled. What is she? Is she a painter? Yes, she is a painter. But she is a painter who can co combine painting with sculpture easily. Is she a sculptor? Yes, she is definitely a sculptor because she thinks in the round. Is she an installation maker? Yes, she is an installation maker. And having combined all these, she further felt that the non-kinetic kind of installation can also be extended to a kinetic field. So, she chose to be a performing artist and she is one of the pioneers of this branch of art in India. She had done it much before many other practitioners and done it well, done it effectively. And while practicing each art, she has always tried to be a little different from others. For instance, she adds color to her sculptures and her colors are very expressive. 
they are not only sensuous color, colors are very expressive. For instance, she is now doing what one can call a painted sculpture or a sculptural painting. She is now engaged in doing that, where her principal colors are the gold, the golden and the red. The warmth of she combines the warmth of red with the glow and the glitter of the gold. And she uses it, it, it very effectively. Well, combining colors, it's not only the sensuous quality of color she aims at getting. She wants to get those colors which would be combined expressively and that she has achieved. So, Ratnavali is in a sense a kind of a cutting edge artist who cuts the edge of each medium to get into the other medium through edges and that's one uniqueness of Ratnavali's art. Ratnavali lives and works in Delhi. She was born in 1956 in a Bengali family in Kolkata. One of eight brothers and sisters, Ratnavali is the youngest child of Dr. Sudhiranjan Ghosh and Srimati Malati Ghosh. আমরা আট ভাই বোন ছিলাম আমি সবার বড় আর রত্নাবলি সবথেকে ছোট রত্নাবলি একটু দুষ্ট ছিল তো আমি একটু স্ট্রিক্ট ছিলাম তো যেন আমার কাছে বকুনি টকুনি খুবই খেত সবাই আমরা নাচ গান বাজনা সবই করতাম সবাই ছোট বড় আমার ভাইরাও পেইন্টিং করত মনে রাখতে সবাই করে স্পোর্টসে খুব ভালো ছিল বাচ্চি ছোট থেকে খুবই চঞ্চল ছিল একদম ছোট যখন ছিল তখন একটা বাবা ওকে লাল ভেলভেট ফ্রক কিনে দিয়েছিল যেটা খুব পছন্দ হয়েছিল এবং পড়বার জন্য খুব পড়তে চাইছিল এবং আমার দিদি ওকে পড়তে দেবে না সেই সময় দৌড়াদৌড়ি করতে গিয়ে হঠাৎ করে পড়ে গিয়ে কপালটা কেটে ফেলে যে কাটার দাগটা এখনও ওর কপালে আছে এই ছোটবেলা সবসময় খেলে বেড়াতো তারপরে যখন একটু বড় হলো তখনও মাটি কাদা এসব নিয়ে খেলতে খুব ভালোবাসত ছোট ছোট জিনিস বানাতো আর আমাদের বাড়ির পরিবেশটা বাবা যে কালচারাল জিনিসটা খুব পছন্দ করতেন বাড়িতে সেই পরিবেশ ছিল আমাদের সব ভাই বোনেরা কেউ না কেউ কিছু গান বাজনা নাচ গান মানে সব কিছুর মধ্যে বাবা আমাদেরকে ইনভলভ রাখতেন ওর ছোট থেকে খুব সিনসিয়ার স্কুলে ফার্স্ট হতো ফাইন আর্টস গ্রুপে স্কালচারটা তো স্কুল থেকেই শিখেছে এক্সিবিশন আমরা সবাই মিলে দেখতে দেখতে যেতাম এবং ওর বন্ধুরাও তাতে জয়েন করতে খুব মজা হতো এক্সিবিশন দেখতেও আমাদের খুব ভালো লাগতো আমার মুখটা ও বানিয়ে দিয়েছিল তখন ও ছোট ছিল ও শান্তিনিকেতনে ছিল তো আমার এই কাজটা দেখলে খুব ভালো লাগে has been uh, pretty much dressing me up for uh, various occasions like my uh, aunt's weddings and my birthdays and uh, she would actually make dresses for me and um, dress me up and uh, put chandan on my forehead. And so some of the exhibitions that she's had in Calcutta, I've seen her actually prepare for it uh, relentlessly, you know, over days and nights, uh, uh, sometimes all night and uh, she's been there, you know, uh, working on her uh, art pieces. जब मैंने फर्स्ट परफॉर्मेंस देखा था कमानी ऑडिटोरियम में जहाँ पे उन्होंने झारखंड के कुछ ट्राइबल्स को ट्रेन किया था काफ़ी टाइम लगा था ट्रेन करने में और जब वो परफॉर्मेंस मैंने देखा और जिस तरह का रिस्पांस मैंने देखा जो आर्टिस्ट कम्युनिटी थे वहाँ के जो उन्होंने रिस्पॉन्स दिया देट वॉज टोटली डिफरेंट इन आउट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कार्ड में थॉट प्रोसेस था मैं खुद देखा हूँ कि रात तीन साढ़े तीन बजे तक जग के वो काम करती थी और जो उनके घर में आते तो उनको शायद 
पता भी नहीं चलता था कि बैकग्राउंड में क्या काम चल रहा है और अचानक से पता चलता था कि आज एक परफॉर्मेंस होने वाला है किसी भी परिस्थिति में उसने आर्ट नहीं छोड़ा चाहे जगह छोटी हो या कोई मटेरियल अवेलेबल नहीं हो फिर भी अपनी कोशिश से उसने उसी छोटी जगह में बड़े बड़े स्कल्पचर या बड़े बड़ी कोरियोग्राफी करने की कोशिश की है और वह ऐसा करने में काफ़ी सफल रही लेट्स गो बैक टू आर चाइल्डहुड मेमोरीज वी हा सिस्टर तापोशी सुचरिता मानोशी वी ऑल यूज टू स्पेंड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम टूगेदर एंड वी यूज टू एन एक्ट अ लॉट ऑफ ड्रामा स्टोरी टेलिंग स्केट यू नो यू जस्ट पुट अप सम सारीज एंड क्रिएट अ थिएटर यू नो शी हैज brought this part of her training into remarkable use as an artist she has merged it not only with her figures but she has also merged it brought it into play and given shape to performance art oh. my oldest memories of my mom as a kid she uh, she used to teach dance to our uh, neighborhood kids and everything and i was really young i didn't even know how to crawl then so she would hold me in one hand and teach everyone and that's how i started learning dance and uh, then uh, when i grew up a little more about 3 4 years she was she used to do sculpture at that time so um, she would engage me in one of her uh, whatever she would be doing if suppose she's painting a very very big uh, uh, canvas she would uh, tell me to paint a little portion over there so that i would feel that i'm helping my mother a lot and her work would also get done and i would also learn something and um, yeah so that's how she used to work she never went into another studio she would always work at home so that i wouldn't feel left out she was very supportive she always encouraged me to work in school I was uh, I was a part of all cultural activities in school because she would sort of train me at home um encourage me to go ahead do stuff and um uh, when I grew up a little more I I would go for parties and she would make me these wonderful outfits which were far better than everyone else at the party my mother as a kid used to drop me to my dance class pick me up uh, take me to my school stay backs and my school functions My first experience on stage was uh, when I was a part of my mother's multimedia production um, I feel life to be green. I was about 3 or 4 years of age and it was the sequence where uh, I'm this little uh, village girl who is uh, playing hopscotch and suddenly she sees these scarecrows and gets scared. So uh, it came very naturally to me since it was my first time on stage. She introduced um, installation performance art in india i was a part of one of her uh, installation performance art uh, performances which was at uh, kamani auditorium outside uh, kamani the in the parking lot it was called death of desire where uh, i um, i was i was about 5 or 6 years of age i think and uh, i had to paint and draw these outlines of my mother and which i found very interesting at that time i thought oh my mother's given me this big responsibility and you know i have to do this and but now when i look back i uh, i actually understand the performance and i understand everything and and how beautifully she made me a part of her work my first solo performance dance performance was a contemporary dance theater performance directed by my mother it was at alliance française and uh, it was it was called uh, tunnel vision This was a performance where there was film which my mother had directed for the first time she made a short film which was shown at the back along with which there was a theater there were there were dialogues and there was a poem that i recited and there was dance so this is a very very new concept and it was my first solo performance um this is the first time i worked with my mother as my mother being the director and uh, me being the actress i also acted in that short a film that was shown at the back it was based on um uh 
women feticide, the issues that a woman faces when she's a child and when she grows up and when she's abandoned. Um, I was uh, at LSR at that time, and uh, that being a feminist, known as a feminist college, I performed a little portion from this uh, performance on stage. And everybody was so moved, including my principal, and they were all, they all connected so well to it. Uh, that sort of made me realize that the kind of work that my mother does does not only um, appeal to a niche audience, sort of only the critics, but even the masses. After that, we did another performance called Vatsalya, which was, um, which was uh, on the issue of uh, the, the plight of the eunuch when a eunuch grows up and they have to become a part of their community and sort of do what the entire community does, what does one go through? This was purely, um, I had choreographed it on Odissi. It was based on Odissi. And um, there, was, there was again a short film. There was a film and there was dance and it was beautifully mixed. And Ratnabali finished school in 1972 in the fine arts stream. Seeing her talent, Ratnabali's art teacher Krishna Rai Choudhury insisted that she join Kalabhavan at Shanti Niketan Vishwabharati, founded by Rabindranath Tagore. While her mother was not in favor of her going to Shanti Niketan, her sister Sucharita Basu and her brother in law Kalyan Kumar Basu helped her gain admission there. At Kalabhavan, she busied herself learning sculpture, painting and graphics all day and spent her evenings learning dance. One of her favorite places was the Black House where she sat and talked for hours with her batchmate Avanikant. Another attraction of Black House was the relief sculptures by Ramkinkar Beige. Later, Ratnabali was to create relief sculpture that reflects Ramkinkar's work at the Black House. At Shantiniketan, her favorite festival was Basanta Utsav. Introduction meeting dance in a college, once you have a very hero worship, and she was the one person who we uh, had a lot of hero worship, um, worshipping for her. A uh, lot of things, she was the first pioneer doing all the uh, breaking from the tradition, and, uh, and we were happy to follow her. <laughs> She's the person who always encourages to do whatever we feel like. She always behind us. First year, 
সেকেন্ড ইয়ারে ও কাজ করত হঠাৎ দুপুরবেলায় খট খট আওয়াজ আমরা আমবাগান থেকে আওয়াজ পেতাম আওয়াজ পেয়ে দেখছি দূরে দেখা যাচ্ছে না একটি মেয়ে কাজ করছে ঝাঁকড়া ঝাঁকড়া চুল এবং প্যান্ট পরা অবস্থায় একটি মেয়ে হয় কা উড কার্ভিং করছে বা পাথর কাটছে কাছে গিয়ে দেখি সেই ভর দুপুরে সেই সময় কেউ নেই স্টুডিওতে স্কালপচার স্টুডিওর বকুলতলাতে কিন্তু রত্নাবলী একলা বসে বসে সেই কাট কেটে বিভিন্ন ফর্ম তৈরি করছে টাইম টু টাইম আবার গ্রেট লিজেন্ডারি স্কালপটার রাম কিংকার ব্যাজ who we call king karda also used to visit sculpture department and kala bhavan where she was able to show her work to him and he was very much appreciative of her work and it was he who had recommended her for her culture fellowship in 1979 ratnabali joined the faculty of fine arts at maharaja sayaji rao university in baroda for her masters degree there she specialized in creative sculpture the only places she knew were the sculpture studio and library besides the hostel During the Navaratri festival in Baroda her main attraction was the garba dance and making beautiful dresses for the dance Ratnavali is a younger friend of mine and I know her since uh, the late 70s I know her as a very industrious student but after leaving for Greece her uh, language her expression totally changed and when she came back she started experimenting with the uh, new format of performance performance art i think ratnavali will have to be termed as one of the pioneers of that that uh, possibility and uh, what i appreciate most is the language which she employed for performance art was uh, the indian language her concerns were indian her language was indian the performing uh, skills were indian though there are so many people who are uh, uh venturing into performing arts ratnavali stands apart as an artist wo jo kaam wo kar rahi thi us samay mein bhi usko cement aur pani ye sab karte karte lekin mujhe aisa lagta tha ki ye jo itna hard work karti hai wo malum nahi kyunki hum to itna hard work to nahi kar sakte hai hum as a gents hone se bhi us samay ki baat तो मैं ये सोचता था कि ये इतना इतना ये जो इतना क्यों इतना बहुत काम करती है फिर भी थकती नहीं है ऐसा मुझे उसको पूछने का इच्छा होता था और मैं पूछ भी लेता था कि तुम थकती नहीं है तो ये काम करने का होता है उस समय में तो थकावट है वो तो भूल जाती हूँ वो मालूम नहीं होता है और मेरा काम के बारे में मेरे को थोड़ा बहुत इंटरेस्ट रहता है इसलिए तो वही रहता है थकावट क्या है वो तो मालूम नहीं रहता है इस ढंग से वो मेरे को वापस जवाब देती है तो ऐसा आनंद आता है कि ये इतना स्ट्रांग लेडी ऐसा इन 1983 रत्नाबली वेंट टू ग्रीस ऑन अ ग्रीक गवर्नमेंट स्कॉलरशिप for her doctoral research on the dynamic element in ancient greek sculpture at athens university seeing her interest in learning diverse dance forms the dance revivalist dora stratou invited her to learn various dances during rehearsals of a dance company whenever ratnabali visited herodotus the ancient amphitheater in athens she always wanted to perform there in 1985 she was invited to perform during the greek summer festival when greece was the summer capital of europe she trained greek actors and dancers to produce a dance drama the princess and the hermit 
In Greece, Ratnavali strove hard to promote Indian dance and art in order to bring the rich cultural diversity of India to the people of Greece. She gave a number of dance recitals. In Athens, her workplace was the bathtub in her small apartment where she produced a number of sculptures. Seeing Ratnavali's work at the Creonidis Gallery, film and theatre director Jules Dassin said, I am touched by your sincerity, your tenderness and your strength. It is more than a pleasure to see the talent of a painter, poet and sculptor expressing the overlapping of two cultures. For her research work, she visited various archaeological sites and museums in Greece. She also visited the British Museum in London with Avanikant. Her sister and brother-in-law were then in England and they arranged their marriage in London in 1983. Afterwards, they visited many other countries. Back in Athens, she started doing performance art, Rainbow of Desire, Body Art Performance in 1985, Voices from Within, Body Art Performance in 1986. In 1989, Ratnabali had a daughter, Priyamvada. Ratnabali has had a close association with great teachers and artists. At Shantiniketan, she produced a number of relief sculptures under the guidance of Ramkinkar Beige. K.G. Subramanian spoke about her in an interview in 2003. Do you encourage your students even now? How? Well, I have no special students now. No, but I encourage everyone, whether he is my student or, or he or she, that, uh, as I told you, a teacher, especially in the field of fine arts, has very little to contribute to the development of the student, except probably clear the air. So, I do that all the time. But otherwise, when I face other people working, I am always very happy when they make full use of what they have. So, whether you call that encouragement or not, I don't know. According to you, what qualities should an Indian contemporary artist have? You see, first of all, you have put two things there, or Indian and contemporary. If if you want to be an Indian contemporary artist, you should be close to your environment. Then alone will you be an Indian contemporary artist. And if you want to be a contemporary artist, you should belong to the times. Then alone will you be a contemporary artist. So if those things are there in any artist, then he will be a proper Indian contemporary artist. So it's a sort of a simple thing as like that. Please say a few words to inspire children who want to become artists. Well, I don't know what will inspire children of today, <laughs> but uh, if they keep their eyes open, if they try to see things with pleasure and discernment, and if they want to do something with themselves, I suppose that is the best thing they can do. And one thing I would like to say to all people, not only children, is not to aim more than they can accomplish. Then most people get smaller when they have an ambition which they cannot reach. They should know how to utilize their sort of whatever they have. And uh, this you should learn from your mother. Somnath Hor sent her this greeting card with the image of a bowl on the occasion of a wedding. After some time, he sent the couple another card with the image of mother and child, advising them, 
India is poor but will always welcome back her enlightened children with a mother's affection and love. In 1966, Ratnabali joined the Uday Shankar Culture Center in Kolkata. In 1971, Uday Shankar's unique work Shankar Scope inspired her. Shankar Choudhury never taught Ratnabali but always supported and guided her in many ways. At the age of 16, when Ratnabali took admission at Kalabhavan, Dinkar Kaushik was principal there. His love, affection and support went a long way in building up Ratnabali's confidence. Sharbari Roy Choudhury, her teacher at Kalabhavan, once commented, cultures from different time in different material sometimes it is it is low relief work whether it is indian or greco roman and if from the indian low relief culture or the greco roman stele the greco roman pieces she takes off and she translates that either in plaster or fiberglass a modern industrial material i have been impressed uh, with her uh, way of expression that is she has been always traveling in time from contemporary reality to the past making a criss cross pattern continuously coming and going as i have mentioned you mentioned while curating ratnabali's exhibition of paintings eminent art critic prayag shukla said whatever she does she does with commitment and is never shy of facing challenges in fact she herself sets on the ventures where challenges are to be faced at the inauguration of ratnabali's exhibition at nehru center in london professor partha mitter said ratnabali is the first artist in india to introduce a synthesis of performance and installation her engagement is entirely with the present and now Her eclectic range of sources extends from the Natya Shastra to Greek tragedy to Vivaldi. Ratnabali Khan's achievement will surely endure. experience of contemporary india and in most cases is experience of suffering particularly suffering by women she is feminist and she chooses stories you know for example draupadi facing nightmare alone now if you analyze this piece and you include the performance she had given originally in the india international center in front of that piece of sculpture you will find she blends lot of things into it first of all the epic that epic story you know this pandavas and the story from the mahabharata and the suffering of dopadi here is disrobing of dopadi is definitely 
as an insult to women. women. And that is, you know, the critiquing the past or tradition, using tradition as a critic and interpreting in the light of what is happening even today. So there is modernity and tradition gets interrelated in a different way, in a confrontation, con confrontational way. What brought Ratnavali to my attention first was when I came upon a stupendous fiberglass creation of hers which you can see here in facing Nightmare alone as I was rummaging through the go-downs of the Dalit Kala Academy in Delhi immediately I was so, it was so fascinating that I requested the then president of Dalit Kala Academy to lend it to us for display in the rebuilt Vijayan Bhavan he was kind enough to do so and then I requested Ratnabali to refurbish it, retouch it up and we finally put it on display at the Vijayan Bhavan which even today you can see it is the centerpiece of the mini gallery of modern art that I was able to create in that, in that magnificent building. Her most recent work which is figurative is the collection of six uh, magnificent bronzes larger than life size representing the seasons of the year in India which are in display in the garden of the five senses in, uh, in New Delhi. This grouping, this creation was possible not only because of her innate artistic vision but also because of her deep knowledge of the cultural ethos and the insight into the legends of her country which enabled her to represent the ritus, the seasons of, of, of the year in India in such graphic fashion. चित्रकला प्रत्येक की एक बुजुर्ग जो है एक शिक्षा जाता है आमा शे शिक्षा नहीं किंतु मूल तो आमे लोगों एवं धर्म में से आमे मेर शंघाई में मूल तो बोले आमे अनुभव बटुक करे ची जे अनुभव जी जे प्रतिभा है ची शे प्रतिभा ऐकुनो पद जंतु आरो आमे परिवेशित है उच्च एवं और सम्मान आदि के अधिकतर भूमि के पास एवं साधे एक उत्तरशा करे अभी करें शुक्र। The multimedia show Tree of Soul at the End of the Rainbow was the transcreation of a Doha by Kabir. Here he cautions us against the tamasic aspects of life, kama, krodha, lobha. Moha, Ahankara. This lesson Ratnabali had learned from her father in her childhood and as she grew to young womanhood. That is why she dedicated the show to her father, Dr. Sudhiranjan Ghosh. A retrospective of Ratnabali Khan's work was held at the Birla Academy of Art and Culture in Kolkata in 2003. It was inaugurated by Ratnavali's mother, Srimati Malati Ghosh. In 2006, a book on her installation performance of 20 years, 1985 to 2005, titled Ephemeral Steps, Enduring Imprints, was published by the Raza Foundation in Delhi. In 2007, a video CD of her installation performance was released by the Indira Gandhi Center for Arts. Ratnavali Kant is a pioneer in the sense that, as far as I know, she is the first one to have started what is now commonly known as performance art. She was trained as an artist in Shantiniketan and has also studied in Greece. But what she did through performance art was to combine his knowledge and skill of a dancer and an artist and combine the two into a very powerful and in some ways disturbing statement. When I first saw her work uh, as a performance artist, it was mind-boggling because she was using, like a dancer, her body as a sculpture. And she, of course, had other things to say. She was talking about violence. She was expressing her annoyance at the destruction of environment. 
she was trying to look at the world as we have today being destroyed brick by brick as it were by forces which are beyond our control all this was happening in her art and I think by taking to performance or adding in the element of performance to her uh, plastic art she expanded the geography both of her vision and of her art she ultimately achieves a unity which is rather rare later of course many others have taken to performance art but the fact that Ratnavali Kant was the first one to do it is historically and aesthetically important.